Hey, we're recording. This is Monday, April 19th, advanced class, and we're dealing with barking puppies and having issues, and we've moved seats, and now we're going to practice yelling at me about I learned, even though it's not my fault. So I learned this week, Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday, you are going to go to your I learn room first thing in the morning, the first place that you go, and you are there for a little over two hours. Then you're going to go to first period and then fourth period, whether for the good or the bad, fourth period is longer on that day. The reason being, all of your other classes are 40 minutes in length. But this class has to be normal length because we have to deal with the whole kids at lunch thing. So you guys get a full class period of me. I have not yet decided if that's a good thing or a not good thing. I figured I'd let you know. Fifth period on Thursday is also going to be the normal length. Oh, yeah. That was quite the roller coaster ride. So. Then... On Thursday also, you have SEL, and then it goes straight into seventh period. So it's going to be two 40-minute classes, like, stuck together in some kind of weird way. This week is I Learn English. You have I Learn, like, written version, and then you have I Learn reading version. Next week, you have two versions of math also. I have math written and math. I don't know. There's two math versions also. So I'm just giving you a heads up. We have all of those. Virtual kids, you're not going to be doing iLearn during that time. You're going to be coming in on Friday. And then Friday is your iLearn day where you guys get to be here for like four hours on that day taking iLearn. And the other kids get to flex on you. So they're going to be flexing back and forth. Also, before you guys get too excited, yes, on Friday, it does not say anything about homework. You still have homework on Friday. I didn't want you guys to get too excited just because it's not physically written there. Friday for you is a normal everyday Friday thing. For this class, you already know what we're doing on Friday. You're finishing out your test that we're going to start for you guys on Thursday because we're going to be taking the test over all of gospel that we're going to be trying to get to here shortly. So that gives you an idea of what we have coming up. <sighs> Squiddy. Two things. Yes. One. Two separate tests. So hang on. If you don't finish it on Wednesday, they will pull you out of a later class period to go down to the like the LGI and then finish it then. Because you have to finish it that day. Okay. And then other things. Like, essay? I believe so. No. How long is that essay? I don't know. Essay length. Wait, that doesn't have like five paragraphs. Probably. They're not really doing a number of paragraphs thing. They're just doing a complete the information thing. So my I guess is really it has no effect on my pay whatsoever, but thanks. Yeah. Just affects whether you guys get two English classes. Carson. So I would like to say, I think that they should do a study of the suicide rate when I learn or I step comes and see how much it goes up. I don't think the suicide rate goes up, but the depressed kid rate definitely skyrockets. But every day that ends in a Y increases kids' depression rate, so it might not be the best of all the things. Hi, Ra. Yes, because every day kids are depressed and whining in my classroom. Hi, Ra. Wait, instead of, so next year, why don't we get two classes since we're in advance? What if we just go to like nine? It depends. So the way the whole I learn thing works for the most part, one, is the reason we have I learn is because there's some school districts that do not teach their kids at all. You are not in one of those districts, but there are a number of districts where the kids can go through all of school and literally learn nothing. Back in my day, we had kids who would graduate from a high school and they would still be dumb as a box of rocks, even though the schools that they had all A's. So they had to come out with a standardized test to keep schools accountable. The problem is nowadays schools are very accountable and it's not as much of an issue. But there are people in government positions who get paid money for you taking a test. And apparently they like money. So they keep making you take tests because they keep getting paid monies. If you fail the test, essentially what it does is tells us that you don't know enough about English or math. So the way they rectify that is they give you two English classes your eighth grade year, or they give you two math classes your English your eighth grade year. We will take your normal one, and then you also take a remedial one where you get to be in a room that has like, people, like a smaller number of people and they're there is just to help you learn math. For you guys, you're right. You are in an advanced English class right now. So if you bombed it, yeah, there is every chance you'd get pulled out of English and then also put into that. But there's very little chance of that happening. 
Plus this year, I don't know what they're doing because it's COVID year. So whatever I could make up could be true or could be who knows what. So yeah. So take all of your anger and like every healthy person, squash it way down deep inside of you. So it festers like a ball. And then when you're in your twenties, you have therapy and you go, blah, and you freak out. Oh, and Are you, are you talking about your planning for failing thing? No, I'm just oh. saying, like, I'm in, no, I'm taking ninth grade Yes. I've been taking ninth grade standardized test in seventh grade. Oh, I believe it's the same for everybody. I don't know for sure, but I believe it's the same Wait, test across the board. I believe all seventh grade take it. It's just that if you're taking, like, the higher level algebra, in theory, parts of it should be easy. I don't know for sure again. JC. I already did. It's coming out on Tuesday, tomorrow. Uh-huh. I like it. Yeah, I liked it. I watched it again at the very beginning of the COVID last year. Wait, did you watch it like the clean version or did you watch the normal I watched the normal version because I wasn't at school. I was at home. Greta. Um, so since people in the government get paid for for us taking standardized tests, but the government get funds the schools, correct? And the schools have to pay for the standardized tests. So how is it going back to the, yeah. the government is using the schools? Wow. Right, so moving on. We all have book. Then we'll jump to this to give you guys a chance to do it. I'll have to stop the recording for a moment so we're not putting you on there. Pause. And we did not beat any records today, but we did have a kid do it really well in 16 seconds. So that's almost the same thing. All right, so let's see. Ah, clicky and clicky. There we go. So again, if you were wanting to, we have to finish book this week. If you have not touched book, we're not reading together this week at all. We're going to be talking about book this week, doing some things with book this week. But as far as the actual reading of it, that's going to be all on your own. And part of that is the drawback to COVID year is the fact that we had to keep cutting chunks out of things because of time wise. And apparently some of us like to really talk and that cuts down on stuff too. Not me, you guys. I'm really good at being succinct to the point. Ah. Speaking of succinct and to the point, let's take a look at the gospel quiz that you guys had to go through. We're going to do a speedy version of going through. Those of you who have not done gospel quiz yet, here will be your time to write down the answers as we go through, and it'll get you a 20 out of 24. Uh, those of you who scored lower than a 20 out of 24, you can redo it if you want and get a 20 out of 24. Eli? Uh, on this, probably not, but maybe. I'll consider because I do write at the end that you guys pick. Yeah, which one was our lowest one? So and that is possible. I might let you gamble for that one. Kyra. What is what is twenty Math. A -A Math. Yes. Um if we gamble, uh -huh. I can learn to if we gamble and we get it wrong, you lose, lose points. points. Yeah, that's how gambling works. Yeah. That is by definition what a gamble is. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are fun. Ah, cool, we got to go to lunch. So we're gonna go over this when we come back from lunch. Home children will get there. We'll just go ahead and continue with this whole life struggle thing. Uh, but we're going to get there. So I'll pause and we'll come back to it. And we're back again. As we run through quizzy bits. Well, that's because apparently some kids are in the wrong seats and I'll have to move them to their new seats. See how subtle that was. talking? And Number one, uh, what is Larry's mission statement as explained by Josh? How is he wanting to change the world? We don't feel very strong about this one at all, do we? Waste. The take on waste, cultural brainwashing brain is correct. Well, that's how he was trying to change the world. Two, what literary term did we learn? There you go. Ironic or irony, or the fact that Beta Gold keeps saying you need to reveal who you are, you cannot stay a secret, you have to come out. And then, of course, Beta Gold is a secret and does not come out and tell us who they are say, until we discover who Beta Gold is, but we're not talking about that quite yet. Wait, yeah, well, if, if you've not read it all, then no. I haven't read the whole book. I read, to, I read to 135. 
Yeah, then you haven't found out yet. It comes in after that. That's well, really fun. Hence my saying, we're not talking about it yet. Since when did you tell us to read that? Three! What topic is Larry addressing in Sermon 137? And that Number was... One. Um, Number one! Number one! Between those who have things and those who don't, as he went through and talked about that one. Uh, the main reason Larry offers the beta gold as to why he chooses to remain anonymous? Three. 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 Is correct. That whole demographic, the idea that if you have no idea who it is, then you can't judge them. Where as soon as you find out it's a boy or even just a girl or how old they are, because you find out that he's young, old people immediately dismiss you. If you find out it's a girl, boys immediately dismiss you because people are awful. And so the idea of you don't know who it is, you have to just use your imagination, and that's why he remains anonymous, which worked really well. Who is the intended subject of so many? So specifically, I was going for Beth. I did accept girlfriend, even though she's not his girlfriend, but I had people get whiny and complaining. So I was trying to be as specific as I could, but Beth seemed like the best answer. What surprising new addition has Josh discovered? And so what he finds is his name or his grave, or they also put his birthday on there is what I was going for. It was on the gravestone was where they have that carved, where it was like pre-prepared for his death. Is that you just gotta email me, and then you're good to go. Why would you make it so difficult? Yeah, well, right? It is yeah. Great. What kind of it's teenager is difficult? So on these again, if you had an answer and you think it works, email me, and I'm more than happy to listen to you. Seven. According to what he's been telling us, Josh wants. How does he want to contribute? Through ideas, definitely not money or technology. I'll have to double check. When we get done, I'll take a look at it. Sure. And if it is, ever, sometimes it happens where Canvas has issues. What is one of the only things that Beth does that truly irritates Josh? The one that has Todd Todd There you go. Becoming popular with Todd Terrific. We'll go back and check that one again. Uh, where does Josh go to best communicate with his mom? And I turn to Again, it, I apologize. There was an issue with the spelling of it, and it had all kind. It should have been Bloomingdale's or Makeup Counter. And again, I had like 12 different answers written on there trying to get it to accept them. And I still had kids who struggled. And then it turns out someone spelled Bloomingdale's wrong on the correct answer. So that was why Canvas was having an issue. It's not important who that person was, but it was back and fixed. It's not important who that person is. not important. not pointing fingers at who the idiot was that typed the wrong spelling of the correct answer. Parker. And what does Josh steal from his stepfather? His father's his files. And that's where the little files came in. That's where he ends up posting them and getting himself in trouble. And what a bit. Yes, you could go to jail. Larry Fest comes in and they all get excited and go and party. And then the band that plays there is going to be. And when Josh meets the lady at the big festival, who is it? And that's going to come back. We're going to refer back to that lady later on. Who said yummy? I mean, toothbrushes are yummy. All right. Hey, we're not pointing fingers at people. Then I will double check that answer here in just a second. Then I will double check. Janine. Awful. That is very true. That is how time works. Kyra. No, you, you, you're standing the whole rest of class. Aww. Yeah, that's why you had to get it done before lunch. Then I can let you sit. And then once you stand now, you're standing the whole time. It's that whole punishing a kid thing. It makes you a better person. It makes me a better person. What's up? Sure. Sounds like one of my books over here. Go for it. So on this one, I thought about having you guys do the gambling thing, but I think there's so many screw questions we're not going to because I apparently I have issues. 
Uh, let's see, that was the one that was the lowest one, but I think it's because I spelled, someone spelled Bloomingdale's wrong. And so that was why I was not being counted correctly. So if you got it wrong, you can email me and then I can fix it. And then that was the other one. That one's not my issue. The fact that you guys didn't figure out ironic and irony, but that was the one that a lot of kids struggled on. I don't know. And then those three were kind of a tie. The mother's grave surprise. How does Josh change the world? But now that I've realized that apparently it's because I did that, someone may have done that one correct. Correct, correctly again. I will fix that one also and go through there and double check. Why do I feel like that? Uh, by the way, you guys did have a hundred percent on that the Larry Fest one. Yeah. So thank goodness JD went back and read those six. Oh wait, no, that was not. That was for the toothbrush one. Never mind, JD. I was excited. I thought I was going back to read the six pages thing, but I was a failure on that. Anyway, so. that was part of the show. Oh, let's see. Look at a small one. JC. I I was joking. Me too. Probably because he was joking. But that could be just this rumor I heard recently. I'm surprised right. the one with touch rip. Ideas in the first try and it said it was wrong and technology and it's right. All right, let me hang on. Let me double check this thing. He definitely did not use prayer. All right. What number was that? Number seven. Did you just talk louder to get my attention to the fact that I made a mistake? Absolutely. That's nice of you. Oh, I've made more than that. At one point, I said I liked you guys. No, that's just today. So I'm writing myself a note to fix question seven. Did you fix it now? Good. I'm gonna do this thing called teaching instead. All the way until the end of the day when I go through and look at it, true. But you're gonna be busy running from police anyway. It doesn't matter, you're gonna be distracted. All right. So back to here, book-wise. Uh, let's see, we have, I will be fine time-wise. Let's see, from there, the gospel, blah, blah, talkie, talkie, Bloomingdale's, did that one, makeup counter, blah, blah, J. Dean. Because for some some kids pay attention not at all. It allows me to sort of go back and remember the things that we sort of went through. It sort of goes back and is like, because now we officially have not gotten to this before, but now you have in the scene with the whole purple hat. Last time I showed you purple hat, it was the future. Now I show you purple hat and it's the past. And then same thing when he was talking about the whole chopping up of the brooms and stuff like that. So my goal is we're going to have a discussion coming up on Wednesday with you guys also. The discussion Wednesday is going to be covering end of book. So your goal should be to finish book by Wednesday. Now, given, before you bug eye me, realize you also have the iLearn test that morning beforehand. So if you get done with the iLearn test, you'll have plenty of time, hopefully, to read. Since reading the whole second and a half of the book should only take you about an hour, in theory. Because, again, a lot of bug eyeing. I have the audio book. How long is the entire book? Three hours. We're now halfway done. What's half of three hours? Since we're a little bit past that, that was my estimating that it should take you about an hour. Those of you who then yell at me, but I'm a slow reader, then before you bug eye yell at me again, you can. I don't. Do realize when another kid turns and talks to you, it also costs you points, also, just so you are. Uh huh. When Carson lost the points for talking, but when he was turning and talking to you, that also. I can't tell who was talking. Was it talking? Well, see? I was talking to Parker. Remember, you chose to have Parker come over and sit next to you. Anyway, back up to there. Then you can always use the audio book to then listen to it and hopefully help speed you up a little bit. Or you can shake your head at me disappointment. JC! Um, so technically, we're not allowed to read. We're not allowed to have our iPads on after you like, hours. I said. You talk your eye learn teacher. Bat your eyelashes. Uh, I don't think that's 
All right. Let's see. So we did the gospel discussion. We've covered Josh as the same person as Larry from there. We've gotten to best tattoo at this point, right? Yeah. And what is best tattoo? The no, the no no money works for me. The cash dollar 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 with the line through it. And then we got to the fact that Todd is back, and she is definitely still in love with Todd. And then Todd leaves, and then Todd is back. The Todd issue just keeps going because apparently Todd is terrific. It's right there in his name. What did you guys think of Larry Fest? Ah, Macknell. I think that Josh and Beth had a moment, and then Sheriff Fuller like kissed Larry, and then Sheriff Fuller like kissed Larry. But then those two girls came up and talked to them. Yeah, they're bullies. They say they're bullies yeah. because they, they ruined the perfect moment. But they didn't know it was a perfect, and he could have gone after that. But I think Josh was a chicken, uh, and I think that's more of what it comes down to is that he was getting ready to say a thing, and then the perfect excuse come and you could have been like, and then you could have said it again, but instead he was like, whoa, I almost said a thing. And if he had said a thing, ooh, the world would have been changed, uh, but he did not. So we get to have so many issues. Kyra. I mean, given, even at the beginning of the book, he was only like 20 years old. Because it was only like two years later, and he was 18 when he was happening. It was two years after that, so he was still not very old. Usually 20 years old is not marrying age for most people. But the question is, does she find out? And the answer is yes. She does discover. It's, yes. Yes. Don't worry. There, I'm not. It's not a spoiler because there's even worse coming uh, besides that. Just him liking her is not where the bad stuff happens. So you can go ahead and know, because one, that should be predictable because he put it into the book. And so he knows that it's going to be revealed, but she's already aware of almost all of this stuff. There's just another thing that's going to happen that you're going to want to yell at me on Thursday, Wednesday. Days are hard. Squidney. To be fair, if it comes out that she's Uh-huh. Number one, she's going to hate him because he already was like, Oh, he was writing this about Todd. Todd, terrific. Yes. Yes, though. He'll figure that out. So then he's gonna be. And again, she is going to discover that also. This whole second half of the book goes a whole different direction with things. And that's where we're going to lead into like a death of a character and stuff what? like that. What? I literally yeah. told you that before we started the book. So it was not a surprise. I told you. I'm not telling you more. I've already said enough to make you guys. Larry's not a person. Larry's a make believe. Larry artist. is Josh. Listen to Josh. No, he said this is kind of guys when we first went over to so I don't think that's a good one. So back to Beta Gold. We do find out who Beta Gold is. We have not yet. For those of you who read ahead, or don't, actually, there's no way to know reading ahead because now you're opening the whole end of the book. When you figure out who Beta Gold is, it's coming soon. We stopped on page 130-ish, and I believe the whole Beta Gold reveals in the next 20-ish pages. So finding out who Beta Gold is comes very soon, and that's also going to change things. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of big changey things that are going to be happening. Then the whole thing with Peter and, yeah, he sort of hurt his relationship there with that part of it. Oh, I know who Beta Gold is. Me too. Uh, let's see, the oh, whole terrific. why. No. <laughs> why he wants to be an anonymous there. All right, so here's what we're gonna to get to next. We're gonna come back and do talky things. I wanna give you guys a chance to work. Here's where iPad is going to come in handy. So those of you who don't have iPad, I will get you iPad in just a second because the two of them are over there charging. For the rest of you, here's where you need your iPad. So you can go ahead and get out iPad. You are also going to need book thing. You need book and iPad. Home children, where you're going to get the option to work 
with other home children. Technically, if you know kids in the classroom, you can try and contact them to try and do a thing also. But you're going to get a chance to work with other people or you can work by yourself. I'm happy either way. And I'll explain to you what you're going to be doing here in a second. This is the playlist thing I was telling you about. So we're going to be creating a six song playlist that you are going to be submitting here in a moment. I had originally done a 10 song playlist, but I decided to cut it down just because it's a screwy week and I want to overwhelm you guys and so I want to get a chance to talk. So we're going to cut it down to six songs. And so you're going to be picking a character in a moment and then you're going to be telling me the character and then the song names, the song title, or so the, the artist, and then give me an explanation for why. All of this you'll be able to find. Here is where you are going to find out how to get to it. We now have a new linky thing on the left-hand side called discussions below where it says like uh, homework or assignments or announcements. There's a new one that says discussions. When you click on discussions, it's going to take you to the discussions page. There are two on there, one for sermon, which is Wednesday, and then one for playlist, which is today. This is how you are going to be submitting it. You are submitting it on this discussion page, which the reason we're doing it like a discussion page is this is pretty much what Josh had to do back in the day when he was having his own little discussion thing. So you're going to be doing it on there. There is two grades that go into it. There's my examples, which are on there. Ah, here we go. So if you want to open up iPad now, here is how you get to it. Those of you who have iPads charging, let me return them to you. Yes. You just can't do it after the class. Can I do it with the class? This one has a whole bunch of wordy bits, so I wasn't trying to, yeah, I wasn't trying to read all the wordy bits. All right. So you found, hi, Kyra, what's up? No, did you already let stand? You're going to like awkwardly stand over some like a little vulture. So what you're going to be doing is as you go through there and read it, you're going to be creating and finding six songs. This is the part where you get to work with other people here in class in just a moment. You're going to get a chance to move if you would like and bounce ideas off of people. That's what I would prefer you doing is talking to other humans in some way. Um, and my goal is to give you guys about 10, 15 minutes to run through and bounce your ideas, whichever you have come up with, or steal off other people as need be. There is a second part of the assignment. You are going to need to respond to two people's posts because everybody, even if me and Eli work together, we both submit our own entry because we may have disagreements. And so you're gonna be writing your own thing. You also need to reply to two people on there. So you're going to be reading other people's posts and then giving me responses to them, which will be another grade. So you get one grade for you posting your six songs, and then you get a second grade for your two replies to other people. For your replies, I am looking for something thought out that shows that you read it and not just putting good job. If you do, that's fine. I just don't count it, and I give you like one point of the ones. So I'm looking for you to actually read their responses and then reply to them. Squidkins. Okay, I'm coming to get this right. If, like, me and Olivia work together, mm -hmm. would I, we would not six. Correct. And there's every chance that Olivia comes up with four and you submit two, and that's fine with me. Or maybe you work with a kid and they come up with all six and you steal all six of their songs. That's fine with me, too. For those of you who are the lazy cheater kids, if you can partner with someone and they'll let you be lazy cheater kid off of them, be lazy cheater kid off of them. If you don't want to partner with a kid who's going to be lazy cheater kid off you, then don't partner with that person. But my goal is to give you guys in a second. And you can work in like groups up to four because on this one, again, my goal is more conversation than not conversation. Even if you're the quiet kid that just sits there while the three other kids talk, that's fine with me. So I'm going to be moving you here in a second. Eli. work on your own. Yeah, absolutely. I have no problem with that. 
And then home children, I can let you guys talk to each other. If you know a kid that is here in class, if you want to try and connect or FaceTime or find a way to make that work, I'm fine with that also. Kyra. Literally the directions right there on the discussion page. Yeah, absolutely. I have it. Once again, if you look at the directions, it's going to explain a lot of this. That's why there's a whole page of directions. But I know that does require reading. I know, right? Mac Noel? Um, so if you're reading this in your English, it says, and you make it the power song, uh -huh. do you just submit the song for you to do? Well, if I'm working with Zeke and we're both doing Josh and she has like six songs, I'm like, no, two of your songs are crap. And I want to do my own two songs. Then I could steal the four that she gave. And I do my own two for a total of six. My goal with you guys working with other people is I want you to bounce ideas off each other. And maybe they have better ideas than you. So I'm saying, hi, I'm going to be doing this Eminem song. You're like, ooh, I never thought of Eminem. That's great. You're like, well, I'm going to be doing a Bieber song. I'm like, Bieber's an idiot. You're like, have you heard this song? I'm like, I have not. Oh, that one does fit really. That's what I'm looking for, this communication thing. And Kyra, I was wrong. I'll let you guys sit down while you work. As I thought about it, I was going through this. So don't let it go to your head. So here's my first question. Think about who you want to do, and then you can look around the room in a second. So think about which of the characters you think you want to do, and then I'm going to have you raise your hand when I say that character. Then, home children, I can also, if you can think of whatever character you want to do, we can then give you a chance to try and join in also. And I can say, hey, these kids want to do the same things. All right. Those of you who want to do Josh, raise your hand. So I have Maddie is also wanting to do Josh. If you And Sophia is wanting to do Josh. So I can always put you two into a group there. Then who else we have? Put your hands down. Those of you who want to do Beth, raise your hand. I have Avery doing Beth and Garson, and not sorry, Nate and Kyra and Taylor and Colleen and and Chase. Are you throwing a Beth? And then Chase is also throwing a Beth on that one. And then uh, who else we have? Beta Gold. Ooh, I have a Robin's doing Beta Gold and a Zeke doing Beta Gold. And works for me. And then Todd Terrific. <laughs> Way to be strong. Carson going for a Todd Terrific and a Macknell going for Todd Terrific. And then what other characters you guys wanted to do? Do I, do I have anyone I've not said your character yet? Yeah. Who? I, I have what's doing? We're doing Todd. Oh, uh, <laughs> doing Todd? I love you. Renzo is also, yes, yes, Renzo, down Tiger. Renzo is also wanting to do Todd too. What's that? That's fine. You can do any of them. The only reason I'm having you do your hands now is so kids can look around the room and go, oh, I could partner with that kid if I want to. So here's what we're going to have you do. All right. Do I have, do you want to do Todd also? All right. Then let's do, ooh, even better, let's do this. Josh kids, if you're doing Josh, stand up and go over there. Somewhere that where near R2D2 is. If you're doing uh, Beth, come over this way. If you're doing Todd, go that way. So Josh, Beth, Todd. Who else do we have? Beta Gold. Beta Gold. That way. Do I have to work in the group with the Beth? You do not have to work with any of them. It's just so you can see them, and then you can decide how much you hate them afterwards. And so, do I have to stay here? No, you can move in a second. This is just so you can see them. And then do you have a character you haven't said yet. Who? You have Who? to go. Cap, ooh, Catherine. Uh, then okay. Catherine in the middle. And then any other Catherines? Any other character? Ooh, oh, Mar ooh Marlene. Like we'll put Marlene in the middle also. And did you already do your character? Marlene, Beth area. Beth area, all right. So now you've seen the people around. And then um, if you want to work with one of them, you can. If you don't want to work with all of them because they scare you, again, that's fine too. If you would like to sit near them, you may go sit near them. You may now move to where you want to be. I was just trying to physically help you see people doing the same character. How can you say it? No, you can say it. Just because I want to be able to walk around and hear you guys' conversations. So that gives me. So, let's see, from there, hang on, let's go with. 
hang on, home chill, this is, uh, video wise, I'm going to stop the video because I think we've covered all the important stuff except there, oh, hang on, let's do this real quick. I thought I had it on there, all right. Um, I thought I had, choose a bunch of Jake Paul songs for Todd, wow, way to throw the shade on that one. Um, you will also see on that discussion page, there is a thing for your sermon. That is what we're going to give you a chance to be reading out loud on Wednesday. So sermon is the next assignment that we are going to get to. If you look on there, there are directions for your sermon, which is the next thing we're doing, but that's going to be Wednesday. My goal is I'm not giving you time to write it on Wednesday. You're going to have a chance to read it on Wednesday if you want. If not, then we're going to spend time in class talking. But the other thing is going to be the sermon. You are more than welcome to start working on sermon early if you want to also, where you get to complain about a thing. Owen. Yeah, that's fine. I trust you guys. Nate. What people are going to be reading these other than us? Uh, just you in third period. Like I said, people will be reading these. Yes. That's why I actually says that in the directions. Yeah, that's why I asked it. Yeah. So when you post it publicly, when you post it on there, third period and fourth period are all going to be posting in the same area and all reading it together. Uh -oh. So that's why you want to keep that in mind with the things that you are posting. All right. Then. Hang on. So I'm going to stop the sharing. I got to stop.